All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be talking about Omina Hellcat and his uh, ex-girlfriend or maybe his current girlfriend. Who knows at this point? Uh, Mimi, right? Now, they've been going back and forth, back and forth. I'm sure you guys have probably seen other videos as well on Omina Hellcat and Mimi and this whole back and forth going on on Instagram on whomever is managing Omiza Instagram account. They've been publishing all kinds of crazy stuff about Mimi. Mimi's been responding. Um, she really hasn't been responding all that much. She's trying to, I guess, keep her composure. There was a few times where she definitely had like some kind of meltdown or she broke down in tears. I think I've seen it probably like once or twice on IG Live. And after that, she's just kind of like stayed low key but uh i found the property the omi and a hell cat uh, warehouse and it looks like this property is owned by miriam which is mimi so it doesn't look like it's owned by omi you can see it right there owner i kind of blurred out you see all that red stuff um this way you guys don't know like the uh, property address or the parcel ID. And then here you have owner history. So as you guys can see, you got Miriam right there. She, um, she got the property in October, 20, 2020. The sales price was $220,000. $220,000. The property right now has an assessment value of $544,000. So, hold on. This is kind of interesting because it says sales date was October 20th, 2020. But I think when the FBI came, when they came and raided his house, it must have been before then. It was probably like 2019 I think 2018 2019 something like that some of you guys might correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section but I think it was 2018 2019 something like that so where did and remember when he first introduced her to us he said that was his assistant and then now I don't know if you guys have been keeping up um, I captured everything that Omi posted on his uh, story feed so we might drop it in uh, future videos and like shorter shorter videos um it seems like they kind of been in a relationship they were in a relationship for quite some time but omi introduced her as the assistant but here's the big question though how did she get two hundred and twenty thousand dollars if she is the assistant like where did this two hundred and twenty thousand dollars come from did it come from Omi? Where did it come from? Where did 220000 come from? I thought the feds had seized all his money. It was only like probably like, I don't know, like a year afterwards when he started to roll out the merch. So that's weird. That's weird. But there's a lot of things that's kind of been weird about this whole situation between Omi and Mimi. And I never once believed that she was just the assistant. And now we find out she wasn't. They had some kind of relationship going on. Even, um, I guess Michael's the one posting on Omi's account. He shared screenshots of text messages from his phone. I guess from Omi's phone, like the whole back and forth conversation through text and it was dated 2019, and that was the same time. He told you guys that was his assistant. So Omi lied to his own followers, to his own supporters. But as it stands now, at the time of this video, you guys can see clearly with your own eyes, she is the owner of this building. So unless she goes and transfers ownership to him, it looks like she's the owner so she can sell the building so now it makes sense why they're all why i guess omi some people believe omi's the one actually publishing this stuff um others think it's michael because michael's listed on the uh on the instagram profile saying managed by michael or whatever um but somebody has a lot of knowledge about this stuff to post it 
But uh, more importantly, there is, like, you can definitely see the aggression now because they really want this building. They really want that money. Like, now it kind of makes sense a little bit why they, like, there's been, like, so much publishing on the uh, Omina Hellcat story feed about this building and that his baby mom is going to fly in and she's going to go to this police department. She's going to go meet up with the lawyers. Um... I mean, unless they kind of spin it off and say that it was money laundering, you know, that he gave her the money to go buy the building. And, like, I kind of, like, speculate. I kind of assumed there might be some of that shit going on. Because when he said he said they were going to get married, I was like, is that just a way for him to funnel money to her so then they just don't take all the money? I mean, it is kind of a smart idea, but I don't think the feds are that stupid. Like I said, it still comes back to... How did Mimi get her hands on $220,000 if she was the assistant? And now it makes sense also. Shit, I think I figured it out. Now it makes sense because he the videos are all deleted. They deleted the videos, so it was all a, it was all the plan. It was all part of their plan. Because if you saw his videos right after he got raided, he said, This is my assistant. So that was already proof right there on video. He said, Mimi's my assistant. So now when you see this and you see that she was the owner or she is the owner and she paid 220,000, where did she get 220,000 if she was the assistant? It doesn't make any sense. It's just like that video I just covered yesterday about newer trades. He said he made $2 million in like six months. Where the fuck did you get? Where did you get the starting capital to even start investing? Because you need starting capital to initially start investing in order to build or compound off of that initial principle. Where did she get two hundred and twenty thousand to uh, to buy a building? And at one point, Omi tried to tell us that she bought him a Supra for as a gift, like right after they took everything, the feds took everything. So now it kind of makes sense why. They deleted the videos because the videos obviously are evidence. He got on video and said, this is my assistant. No funny business is going on. And then you go back. I'm, I'm actually over the next couple of days, you'll see the videos where he, um, Michael or Omi published on the Omi and Hellcat Instagram text messages. So just remember this, man. Remember this. I think we might have to just kind of put them together at this point, but. Now it's starting to make sense. Delete the videos because the videos serve as evidence that Mimi was his assistant. Now, how did the assistant come up with 220000 Unless Omi tried to save some money with Mimi. So when he goes through the feds, he comes out to a pot of gold. But sounds like she's about to take everything. But I don't know, man. That's just my opinion. I'm just trying to connect the dots. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section.